Hey, it's Mr. Gray here. Welcome back. If you, like myself, are licking your wounds from yesterday's Jordan 1 Travis Scott release, it is what it is. I'm used to getting L's at this point, and if you've been in the game for a while, you probably received a lot of L's also. Either way, I am not licking my wounds from the Fear of God release that was on Saturday because I was able to actually get the Fear of God Raid Lightbone. But before I jump into that, let's talk about Jerry Lorenzo's previous drops or collaborations that he dropped with Nike. Um, if you don't know who Jer Jerry Lorenzo is, you have been sleeping under a rock. If you are a sneakerhead, you should be embarrassed if you don't know he is, who he is, but I'm sure you do. Either way, he dropped his first collaboration with Nike in December of last year. Um, he dropped two. At, he dro actually dropped two sneakers at the sa same time, the Fear of God 1 and black and then the fear of god one shoot around in black also then he followed up this year in january with two with the same exact versions but different colorways so he dropped the fear of god one in light bone and the fear of god one shoot around in light bone so what i actually have here for you today is the fear of god raid light bone which is really nice and the material is definitely um I, I, i'm not gonna say interesting um it is suede it's and it's suede like most suede but i guess it looks it actually look, it's a really premium quality suede i definitely say that um it feels really good and soft to the touch i know most suede do but i think some suede are pretty rough and this is actually better than most suede shoes that i've i've, I've ever owned at the least um so 80, about 80 to 85 percent of the shoe is suede the then you have these nylon straps that reach from the front the middle portion of the sh shoe all the way to the heel uh one thing also to note and you probably can't it's probably um hard to see this but the actual swoosh is also the nike swoosh is al also um a suede material you have wording here on the back you have nike air on the back then you have air 180 fear of god and the serial number here on the on the sole and this you may not be able to see, but I'll try to show you, show it to you. It has a lace lock that says Air Fear of God right there. Hopefully you can see it. Um, there are a lot of things I like about this shoe. I like that it is a simple colorway because it, it can go with a lot of things. It can go with jeans, khakis, all color, all different kind of color pants. Um, so that's one thing I like about it. But one, one of the, I guess, my favorite features is this air bubble because most, or I guess all that I can think of at this moment, air bubble or Nike air bubbles are typically encased within the sole. But you have this one, which actually goes all the way through to the bottom of the sole. And also neatly it tucked into the air bubble, you have that Nike symbol, which I think is awesome. If you look really closely, you can even see the shape of the air bubble with, encased within inside of this gel part of the sole here. So, just give you a quick turnaround look. So, the Air Fear of God Raid 1 Light Bone retails at $190. Um, aftermarket isn't too bad compared to $190. It's about, at least in my size, which is a 10 and a half, it's about $250 ish. Um, if you're team small feet, you're probably paying a, little, a lot more than that. Either way, I think it's a good shoe. You should definitely go for it if, you, if, it's, if it's something you really like. I love the collaboration between Jerry Lorenzo and Nike, and I can't wait to see several more releases. Um, I think he's a great, great, great creator. Um, I was scrolling through Instagram the other day, and one of the sites that I follow, it said, who is Nike's best collaborator? And it had a picture of Don C, Virgil Blow, Jerry Lorenzo, and somebody else for some weird reason that I can't name right now. I feel bad for not being able to. But either way, you know, I, I responded, and my response was, I think Virgil, Virgil Abloh is their best collaborator. But um, I gave, I guess I gave an extra answer that wasn't asked for. I said, Jerry Lorenzo is the best innovator. And to me, I guess that means more to me than a collaborator. Reason being is because Jerry created something out of nothing. An argument that I've, I'm sure several, several of you have already heard. But it's a lot harder to make something out of nothing than to remix something or create something or 
edit something that already exists. It's just like if the tire was already invented and you came along and you added some adjustments, yes, you probably made it better, but the person who will probably get the most love is the inventor of the tire. And as far as I'm concerned right now, Jerry Lorenzo is in, in some fashion, oh, he is a, an inventor and what he did is great. Not taking away from Virgil Abloh. I have some of his, I have, well, I've had a couple of his shoes, I have one now, and I love them. But I just think as far as an innovator, that would go to Jerry Lorenzo, and a collaborator, that would definitely go to Virgil Abloh. Either way, thanks for tuning in. If you even liked a small portion of this video, as small as this, please like and subscribe to me on YouTube, and you can follow me on Instagram at MrGray06. Thank you, and have a good day.